the number one place to go number two, or I guess number one, whatever process you need to perform. Also, a grandma is still doing some heavy lifting, literally, and a dance at the reception leads to a mother-in-law sticking around for the wedding night. Let's take a look on the bright side. Hello, my friends, and welcome to the Bright Side. I'm your host, Bob Herzog. And am I crazy or are the lights in here a little better today? A little brighter on the Bright Side this week. See, that's exciting. Hey, so where are you watching this right now? That's a very personal question, I realize. But most of you are on a mobile device and a fairly high percentage of people squat and surf these days. What I'm saying is, by the numbers, some of you are probably in the bathroom right now. And I just hope it's a really invigorating environment like this. Right up the road from me in Mason, Ohio, Two Cities Pizza is a finalist to be recognized as the finest location to do one's business each year. Cintas selects America's best bathroom. This particular restroom makes you think you stepped into a New York City subway. And though I've not spent much time in the Big Apple subway system, it's been suggested by some that remarkably this restroom that's actually a restroom smells less like a restroom than the actual subway itself. I don't know, but you can see the subway platform and the train car there. Station stops play over a speaker. There's even some graffiti on the walls. Cool, right? Other finalists include JFK Airport's Terminal 4 in New York, the Fed community in Clarkston, Michigan, and William S. Craycraft Park in Mission Viejo, California. I really am sorry if you feel like I'm talking to you directly as you go to the bathroom. That could be off putting, might even you know, make it difficult for you to go. That's my bad. But maybe you're in there for something else. Maybe your goldfish passed away and you're just in there to, I don't know, flush it down or whatever. If that's the case, just be thankful you're not trying to flush this thing. This would back something up. Experts are analyzing this massive fish that washed up in Oregon last week. The 100 pound specimen is an opa or moonfish. According to the Seaside Aquarium, it's rare to see moonfish on the Oregon coast, especially in such good condition. The species is a deep sea fish, so scientists don't know much about them. Bottom of the ocean's crazy, y'all. You never know what you're going to find down there. And speaking of things you don't expect to find out in the water, this little doggo right here has got to be exhausted after UK rescuers found him out to sea. Ollie was missing for three hours until they found him on some cliffs. He was like three miles out from where he went into the ocean. Apparently, Ollie had gone for a swim and just kept on paddling. Volunteer responders with the Royal National Lifeboat Institution rescued Ollie and returned him safely to his owner. And if it's any consolation, he seemed to really enjoy the boat ride back. Hey, anybody looking to get away? And I don't just mean to a really cool bathroom either. Time Magazine is ready to help you choose your next vacation spot. Time's 2021 World's Greatest Places list is the magazine's newest cover story. According to Time, its third annual list highlights 100 extraordinary travel destinations around the world. The list includes a Portuguese town that's home to the world's longest pedestrian suspension bridge and Antarctica, not a place one might expect to go, but they're expecting a total, total solar eclipse in December. It's a rare thing. Several American big cities also made the list. Talking New York, Los Angeles, Indianapolis too, also New Orleans. The list will be published in the new double issue of Time. It's on sale now. Well, a lot of those places sound like they'd be pretty great for a honeymoon, right? Well, for this next couple, though, I'm not sure whether or not the honeymoon will have to be delayed. This bride had to leave her own nuptials early after dislocating her kneecap during her first dance. Paul Richer and Julie Ben were dancing to the song Stay by the Dave Matthews Band would watch. Oh, there, golly, that, that just hurts me and I can't even see it. Uh, Paul dipped Julie, she couldn't get back up and you, she's just having trouble. Dislocated her knee despite the fact she was wearing flats, had no known knee problems. Ambulance takes Julie to the hospital, wedding dress and all. She's there for about three hours. Doctors reset her knee, then they let her return to the reception. Just in time for the last song, oh. I was still on a lot of different meds. Um, none of the pain meds were originally working, so they had to sedate me at the hospital. 
So Julie spent her wedding night zonked out in bed with her husband while her mom, a retired nurse, slept on a nearby cot because her daughter was so sick from the pain meds. It's one thing to not recall your wedding because there's just like so much. It's another to be in a painkiller induced fog and mother in law on the cot on the wedding night. That, that's a story that's going to stay with you. Well, check this out. At 97 years old, this Ukrainian man is the oldest tennis player in the world. Leonid Stanislavski has been playing amateur tennis for more than half a century. Right now, he's training for the 2021 Super Seniors World Championship in October. He'll be playing in the first ever 90 and over age group. Leonard says he starts each morning with gymnastics, a series of push ups and pull ups. Besides tennis, he's a passionate fan of swimming and skiing. He also dreams of skydiving one day. Lena, go get him. And, and if that doesn't get you all ready to move, this will get you pumped up. You're never too old to try new things. A 78 year old grandmother from New Mexico recently took part in her first powerlifting competition. She's the only person in the history of the natural natural athlete strength association. Easier for me to say to compete in her category at her age. And as Sasha Leninger reports, she set four national records. Dressed in matching shirts. Hey, both of us got NASA shirts I on. know, I you know. copied me. Did you plan this? It's straight back to work for Linda Patterson and her trainer, Derek Williams. I can hardly wait to do it again. I've got a lot to work on. The number one priority for me in the competition was to make sure that she got home safe without injuries, and we absolutely achieved that goal. Over the weekend, the 78 year old grandma who had knee surgeries and a lack of mobility following a car crash took part in her first ever powerlifting competition. I didn't go to, to do anything. Um, he thought so, but I just thought, you know, I'm just going to do it because because it's there to do. Now, Linda put on quite the show. Here are her best lifts. The first, her squat at 71.63 pounds. Next, the bench press at 66.12 pounds and the deadlift at 132.24 pounds and all 269.99 pounds. She set four NASA records. A 78 is just a number and people get, get fixated in their brain about the age 78. You're supposed to be something. Yeah, but it's not a definition. As for the nerves leading up to the competition. Once we got into the venue and we started to work out a little, once you get your hands on the bar, it just all goes away. Your focus comes back. She hopes her story inspires everyone to go after what they want to do. I don't compete with other people because that's kind of ridiculous for me. I just want to be my best. And if I'm my best, that's perfect. In Albuquerque, I'm Sasha Leninger. Back to you that uh, this next group of athletes is just a little younger and though they won't be in the Olympics this summer, they are dressed for the games. These are babies at St. Luke Hospital in Kansas City, Missouri, where the staff is celebrating the start of the Olympics. The nurses helped crochet gold medals, barbells, uniforms all set to go are those little athletes. They also crocheted a variety of different kinds of uniforms for this mini team USA. Many of the families say they're excited to be included in the fun and they're happy they get to take home the handmade outfits. Hey, do you mind if I tell you a little about a friend of mine who just happens to be a Jedi? This is not Mark Hamill, which sure looks like him, right? He goes by Fluke Skywalker and he recently attended a Cincinnati Reds game with a very cool guest, Tatooine's favorite son, look alike anyway, took Ricky Ortiz to Star Wars night at Great American Ballpark. The 19 year old has Duchenne muscular dystrophy and hasn't been able to leave his house for months. Well, Ortiz watched the game. You probably saw that that trusty little Yoda on his lap. Well, inside that Yoda is a battery charged life changing machine that helps his heart function. Ricky hasn't gotten out much because his family's van is too dangerous to drive right now. His mom started a GoFundMe page to help the family buy a new one. Well, from using the force for good to using a little ingenuity. We all know mowing the yard can be an exhausting chore. Well, now a man in Illinois has a perfect way to get a perfectly manicured lawn from the comfort of his living room. This is a remote control lawnmower created by Matt Sabo. It says it takes 20 minutes off his mowing time and really helps him with his grass allergies. But Sabo 
didn't just make this thing for himself. He builds and sells these remote mowers to pay for his daughter's medical treatments. She was diagnosed with a genetic condition called chromosome 18P minus. On top of his new business, Sabo says he also works a full-time job. Not to mention going to all of uh, Andy's therapies, all of her doctor's appointments. So it's, it's a full-time schedule with everything. As this new business sort of takes off on social media, Sabo says he already is creating new products for the fall. You can check out Matt's work on his Concept 2 Reality Facebook page. Well, we've got time for one more now, one more to inspire a professional choreographer who has been on television and in movies has a new project. And as Sam Reed tells us, it's to help a 15 year old girl achieve one of her dreams. At Distinctive Dance in Warwick. I've been dancing for 18 years. This cool choreographer who works all across the country knows a thing or two. He's just an amazing dancer and it's so cool to be working with him. It's such an honor. Gev Manukian has performed with Pink, danced in High School Musical 2, and was on the show So You Think You Can Dance. And despite the fact that he could be anywhere in the world, Rhode Island seemed just right after meeting 15-year-old Francesca Began a few months back. I was uh, judging a dance competition. She had this beautiful smile on her face the whole time, and there's just so much like joy and just honesty. Manukian made a move. I felt an urge to just go up and be like, I, I want to I wanna do a solo for you. He says he could tell there was a story behind her smile that might not have always been there, and he was right. As a kid, it was a little bit hard because kids would like look at me and just kind of be like, what is that? And it kind of offended me a little bit. At birth, Francesca was diagnosed with a rare condition called diaphragmatic hernia and almost didn't survive. She only has one lung. But now that I'm getting older, I'm not embarrassed about it anymore. Over the years, the teen has gained confidence through her tiptoes. She reminded me of why I left to dance. And this personal proposal for a one-on-one -on -one meant the world. I was absolutely shocked. Um, it was just an amazing feeling, and I felt like I was in a dream. For three days in a row, Gev has given her his all. We kind of forget that dance is for everyone. She'll be performing her solo at a competition next year. She plans to dance like no one's watching and hold on to it forever. I don't even have any words for it. It's just so amazing. So people feel something when they watch it, just like I felt when I first watched her. Showing you something good, I'm Sam Reed. That was something good. And in the words of Leanne Womack, I hope you dance. And I hope you share this video too. Because maybe someone you know needs to take a look on the bright side.